Now, I haven't said this in a long time. You ready? I said, if, if you dress like that and you get ripped and I'm on the jury, he's going to go free. Yeah, bro. A pastor said that. Uh, before we tap in, please visit shopstevienight.com. Anytime you see your boy rocking some drip that you rocking with, pull up to the site, grab something you like. I got you, bro. But as far as this, it's like so many thoughts, so much confusion. Him being a pastor in a church is one thing, but I'm thinking like, well, before we, before I dive into detail, I'm going to give y'all some more context because I needed context the first time I saw those first few seconds of him saying that on Instagram, bro. Because I was like, nah, there's no way. There's no way some grown-ass, rational human being would ever say something like that. It's got to be a joke. It's got to be trolling. It's got to be something that I'm missing. I told my wife that this is, this, this is the kind of preaching we need. I told my wife, I said, Mama, when you go, when we go to... Fish and Forge uh, to the outlet malls. When you go uptown here, we'll go up to sit, sit at the parking lot at, at the outlet mall, I mean the mall here. I said, you watch it. I said, count them. You'll find more women going to have shorts on than you will with pants and dresses put together. So I sat there. I just want to be sure. But I sat there some time ago for, I don't know who's out in the, I guess it must have been some of the family. Uh, my wife don't, don't go to that shopping now. And I sat there in my car. I thought, I'm going okay. to see if that's right. And I counted. Try that. You'll find more women go in those places with shorts than you will women with pants and dresses put together. Try it. If you got time, try it. Have your boy go up there and try it. Just watch for it. Have your girl go up there and watch for it. And you know... Uh, I, I used to say this. You know, I haven't said this in a long time. You ready? I said, if, if you dress like that and you get raped and I'm on the jury, he's going to go free. Now, you don't like, do you? I'm right, though. I, I can't help you like it. I'm right. Because, you know, a man's a man. A, a man's a man. Uh, when I was a boy, 85 years ago, for 80 years ago, uh, I was raised in Martinsville, Virginia, partly in Moxfield, North Carolina. Uh, you, you didn't, you never, you, listen, I don't even remember women wearing anything but dresses back then. Well, anyway, I'm, I, don't even, I, I, don't you, I don't want you to go home depressed tonight. I'd rather go home encouraged, but I want you to go home wanting to serve God. But uh, it, it, it seems that we pay no. It seems like we pay no attention to God. Isn't that right? And the Bible says sometimes that people think God has delayed His coming. And I'm missing nothing. Cuz is as crazy as he seems. You got a pastor in a pulpit saying grape is okay. Matter of fact, men are so weak and we're so primal and so. <laughs> animalistic that we can't control our urges and our nature and if you see a ass walking past you in some shorts you can get up in that you can get up in that matter of fact if you do get up in that and i'm the judge and i'm reviewing this case you get to walk what bro that's so it's disgusting bro that's disgusting dog that's disturbing you know what i'm saying to hear anybody say some shit like that man but i would expect like some psychopath ass you know schizophrenic bipolar motherfucker gonna say some shit like that you know what i'm saying like you got to be fucked in the head to to say that anywhere but in this situation you have a grown-ass old senior male preacher in church in the pulpit preaching the sermon preach spitting a word that grape is okay because men men can't control it this video came out in 2020 2023 Right. And it's just resurfaced. Like, why did this shit take so long to get going? Like, I'm curious about this, the, the, 
the city, like the community, what took what has taken place there since then? Because I'm sure there was, I mean, men, men or women listening to that at that time. I'm, I, I would have, I would assume that you know any rational adult person is gonna have a fucking issue hearing their fucking preacher say some shit like that. Unless the entire city is fucked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, that's crazy, dog. That's crazy, bro. Um, he has since apologized because this video went viral and they coming for his neck. But the way he apologized, bro. Protests over a local pastor's controversial comments during a sermon. And tonight there are calls for that pastor to resign, quit, or apologize for what he said. In a video clip, Jamie, which went viral online, the pastor speaks from the pulpit about the clothes women wear and that leading to sexual assault. Take a listen. You find more women go in those places with shorts. I said, if, if you dress like that and you get raped and I'm on the jury, he's going to go free. Uh, yeah, so you heard that right. Bible Baptist Tabernacle Pastor Bobby Leonard said that too many women are wearing shorts and that if someone raped them, he would not find the rapist guilty in court. Our Jason Puck has been following the story. He joins us now live outside the church in Monroe. These comments, Jason, stunning many. Yeah, Molly and Jamie had a lot of folks wanting answers. We came out here earlier. The folks here at Bible Baptist Tabernacle didn't want to do an interview with us. The only response from them so far on the sign out front saying, quote, I am sorry for any hurt. I was wrong. Clips of the Bible Baptist Tabernacle service have been going viral across the state and country with millions of viewers watching Pastor Bobby Leonard say this. You find more women go in those places with shorts I said, if, if you dress like that and you get raped and I'm on the jury, he's going to go free. I, I can't help you like I'm right. Because, you know, a man's a man. We don't let people stand around in Union County in the pulpits and say something like this. That is wrong. That's Jason King live streaming as he protested the church Wednesday night. He was working Thursday, but told us on the phone that he believes the pastor should publicly, verbally apologize. And you can't stand there and teach the word of God and claim that uh, you believe it's okay for people to go around raping people for what they wear. King isn't alone. There are hundreds of comments and posts online calling Pastor Leonard's words disgusting, disgraceful, and more. One of the most shared posts with more than 2 million views from Julie Royce. I was just shocked when I first saw it. I mean, I just couldn't believe that any pastor would actually think these things, let alone say them out loud in a sermon. Royce calls herself a Christian investigative journalist and has seen lots of videos like this. I mean, the people in the pews really are the victims of messages like this. I mean, they're trusting their pastor to be telling them the truth and to be giving them information that's biblical. And this this is such a dangerous message. Royce says Pastor Leonard's message can make men think they're not responsible for controlling themselves. And for women in the congregation, it can be even more harmful. And they've listened to these messages and been taught that they're to blame if somebody rapes them, if they get sexually assaulted, oh, you must you must have had a skirt that was too short. You must have been wearing shorts. It's telling the woman it's her fault. It's how she dresses. And I just think it needs to be countered. Now, Jason King, who you saw there on the protest last night, he is planning to be back out here Sunday morning. He said it's nice to see the apology on the sign out front of the church. But again, he's calling for a public uh, apology or response from the pastor out here as well. Yeah. Put on a sign. Hey, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Whatever the fuck he said. First of all, cuz not, he's definitely not sorry. Only reason he's sorry is because six months later, social media has caught wind of it and now they're holding that fire to his ass and needs to say something. But that's it. That's all you do. No videos. You know what I'm saying? You 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 posted a whole video saying what you said. All they get is a damn comment because he don't give a fuck. Right? And he he clearly still feels the way that he feels. Only reason why he said anything, you know, even if it is as minimal as putting a shit up on a sign, only reason he said anything is because he pissed the world off. Cuz really believe that shit. Which I find it funny because you're talking to your wife about it. Like, what you been doing to your wife? Matter of fact, what you been doing, bro? Like, what skeletons you got in your closet, dog? Yeah, he, he, needs, a, he needs to be removed from that position. A fucking sap, dog. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. <laughs> like him, you. I about to say you can't trust your pastor. Who can you trust? But you can't say shit like that, twenty twenty four, because these pastors be up to some bullshit, bro. Clearly, you know what I'm saying.
you know what I'm saying, bro? But like that's the most I don't know. That's like worse than misogynistic, bro. That's just you need to be in jail. <laughs> bro. If you if you out here looking like a thought, you get to lose your body autonomy, bro. You 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 get to be ravaged. <laughs> bro, what? What what's going on, dog? What the fuck is going on, bro? Hey man, cuz needs to be removed from that position. You need to sit the fuck down. Maybe you're going crazy. Like maybe you suffering from some senior illness, you're getting dementia, like you're not seeing things clearly, your mind is warped. That would make sense. But regardless, your ass don't need to be preaching nothing to nobody. Take your ass home and sit somewhere with your wife and talk about that shit all goddamn day. Bro, he even he even went on to further explain that he looks at ass in the park all goddamn day. So he be having them thoughts, man. Bro, back in my day, back in my day, I get up, run up on that bitch, and she couldn't say nothing. It's her fault because she got that ass out. Wow.